I was someone you'd never notice. Just a guy delivering packages to folks you'd never know. And then one day, a package found me. Five square blocks, smashed into rubble. And at the center was me, alive. But changed. But no one could have seen what was coming. Other people with power started showing up, and it was my job to sort through it all. Find out who had given me that package and why. Hell, even my best friend turned his back on me to try to get powers of his own. And I found the man responsible, Kessler. He explained everything through a vision of the future. A monster only I can defeat, provided that I am strong and ready to face him. And throughout this video, I'm going to show you how strong he has gotten enough to fulfill his destiny of taking on that beast I just showed you. friend, Dr. Wolf, had worked on the race for a prototype and that he could amplify my powers. I need those powers. Depending on the choices you make in the game, you can either get fire powers on top of your electricity and also ice abilities depending on your karma choices in the game, morale choices the player can make. Just wanted to get that out there before I get the video started, really. Cole was a normal guy for the most part, but there was something buried deep inside of him. The mutant gene, I'm just kidding, but it was called the conduit gene, aka the next step of human evolution. If he was in Marvel, he would totally be labeled a mutant because he was born with an ability. But of course, something has to awaken it, right? There was a bomb that decimated like five city blocks, killed like a thousand people to channel their energies into him. He became something much greater. This is basically a game that kind of lets us see what it's like if they made a black lightning game or a static game or being able to play as Electro from Spider-Man. His abilities may seem simple, but he can also heal if he wants to. Yeah, he can drain electricity directly from clouds if he needs a pick-me-up. He can read bioelectricity in people's brains so he can kind of see their memories. He has lightning bolt blast power attacks that he can fire electricity from his hands, obviously. That's obviously an ability he has. He can hit cars with shockwaves or one could say blunt power. Even though he has electricity, he can kind of use like force to blast stuff like that. Strong enough to blast back rockets. If he wants to do a large fall to create a lot of aerial effect called the thunder drop technique, like boom, omnidirectional shockwave. Techniques like this allow him to hit the ground hard enough to send people flying, can heal folks with his abilities with a quick jolt. Even if it's not physical injuries, even illnesses or poisons, he can heal them like, make that make some sense. Respect it and respect it. He can incapacitate you without necessarily killing you by making like a little electric construct to like keep you on the ground so you can't move. Or if he wants to, he could be just a straight up leech by taking the electricity from the person and they die and he gets more powerful. <laughs> That's messed up. He can make grenades with delayed explosions. Yeah, boom. Boom. He can even create several at once. This is just to show that it's not a game mechanic and it's in comics too about him making these electric grenades. The blunt raw force of them is pretty good too, like destroying a balcony by shooting several at once. And he can slide on metal and his electric ability also increases his speed. In this example, it alters his perception of time. He's one of those beings that can actually react to actual lightning too. So when it comes to speed, he should be as fast as lightning at least. And obviously glide with his electricity. More showings of straight on blast power his attacks can do. Like this megawatt hammer. <laughs> even blows a hole straight through an aircraft carrier. Can even make a wall of energy to block gunfire, aka a shield. So it really gives him the strength to kind of telekinetically lift up stuff then launch them very far. When I say far, I mean very far. To give an idea of his power, he can actually amplify his physical muscles with his electricity somehow. This nasty being known as the Devourer tried to actually crush him, and he was able to hold with his mouth open like that with his physical strength. Whatever he can lift seems to be pertained to what his electricity can lift. I mean, so he should technically be able to lift the beast's actual weight. He at least weighs over 900 tons. He's able to easily throw cars with his electricity, derail trains with his shockwave blunt power. He can serve as a middleman for electricity to have different electricity sources connect to one another. Another. even if they're vast distances away he can be the plug in between to help them be able to connect to one another he can even use electricity as a sling to pull himself to other areas like that then he can straight up just full-blown make a storm of lightning yo a single bolt of these can tear through an aircraft carrier with ease just to show you the gravity of what it can do this large statue gets destroyed thanks to his blast power this dude can even create a twister make that make sense 
He creates a twister from the electricity. He did fight another version of himself, a future version of himself, since these two are similar in power. Look at the massive earthquake Kessler can create during his boss battle with himself. You remember the ray sphere that can cause this much size of an explosion radius? Even though the ray sphere is like in the epicenter of all of this energy it's producing, it's still not getting destroyed from all this energy and it's right in the middle of it, right? Like dang near pretty much city sized it looks. Cole has enough blast power to destroy this said ray sphere. Just to let you know what kind of power we're talking about when it comes to raw energy. Ray sphere cracks. Just to show you the power he can produce. Blast power wise. Reduced to ashes. Other opponents that he has fought are beings like the Beast who's very top tier. This being known as the Beast. He's got hit with a nuclear explosion. No way. Yeah it ate a nuke. Now it's back for more. Despite this being eating a nuke. The beast was still being harmed severely by coal, as you can see here. You can see the discomfort on this giant beast's face. More than one occasion of blasting his body apart, damaging him severely. And on this occasion, even when he's in his grip, he still can blast with enough force to blast chunks of them all. You can see another instance of him blasting him apart. And in this occasion too, blasting chunks of them off. I mean, Cole really has limitless potential when it comes to blast power. He can literally take blast from a thunderstorm too. Y'all probably tired of this Ray Fear explosion. There was this being that survived being in the middle of an explosion like this. Wide radius of energy being produced, like a baby nuke. Cold can harm and defeat beings that withstood baby city sized explosions like that. This being known as the Behemoth, that's literally the size of a building on top of it. He defeated this nasty giant thing twice, might I add. This is the first round. This is the next round. When are you gonna learn that you ain't taking on Cole? Just stay and fall down before his might. Before he was Ray feel empowered he would have trouble and had to team up against the beast but then in this occasion when he faces the beast when he's in power like this it seems to just be a complete curb stomping even when nukes couldn't do it yo so yeah he's definitely way past the city shattering levels at the very least at that point yep ray field inhibitor empowerment not to mention it seems whatever he can blast with he can produce it with his fist or make melee options this powerful as too so if he could slice a city in half with his lightning right down the middle just think about the opponents he had to fight like the beast the beast is coming and i will be ready it's a very heavy part of his lore or narrative to be able to compete with the beast as you can see it's clearly a part of his narrative to be able to eventually beat the beast or surpass him in power at the beginning of trying to fight the beast he wasn't strong enough but he ended up getting strong enough to fight this beast and look what the beast did with a single blast entire empire city gets blown up blast power so yeah it's plenty of evidence that these beings are in that city shattering level the beast did it cole ended up getting strong enough to be able to defeat the beast himself at the end of infamous 2 it just all adds up even in the early part of the game before he got strong enough to effortlessly defeat the beast, there was a point where he could still harm the beast even though nukes couldn't harm him. It kind of lets you know that yeah he was still in that city shattering level even in his weaker states but then he became like effortless city shattering level because he effortlessly got powerful enough to defeat the beast in this game. So we know he can already blast apart cities. What's his full potential for the future? When you look at future versions of characters in this universe like the beast, it makes you wonder what are these characters' full potential because in the possible future that they don't want to come to pass the beast and like visions of the future it's implied that the moon is in pieces thanks to the beast been stated that the beast was like a huge threat and that's like the whole narrative of infamous 2 that it was going to destroy the world and he got he got to eventually be able to stop it another conduit of such power and wrath is going to consume the world they say obviously infamous didn't fight a future version of this beast he fought the current one but the future one is able to shatter moons destructive capability striking type power is that the future of what we might see for cole future narrative who knows what's his full potential going to be? I mean, this is the same being that exists in this universe. It is a bit vague on how he was able to do that moon splitting feat. But what do you guys think? Like in this occasion with Kessler punches him like that on top of using electricity with blast power and jump clean through a glass window and can dent a metal locker with a punch. He definitely doesn't have normal strength thanks to this electricity. I'm just saying. Speed wise, he dodges many guns from a helicopter, has reflexes to redirect rockets after they've been fired. Even if you're gonna say that's a gameplay mechanic, he does it outside of gameplay too. So no, he's really just quick enough to reflect rocket launchers. He has really good balancing and stuff like on the telephone wires possibly gameplay mechanics but he did get hit by a full speeding train <laughs> yeah that's a lot of train 
he was caught by a large explosion to really kind of show that how the electricity is enhanced him just every way, even physically, durability wise too. A direct hit from a rocket launcher, boom, crushed under the rubble of this tower collapsing, all of that. Notice how he wasn't phased by an explosion that killed pretty much everybody else, but he was okay. He also uses melee in his combat, yeah. He can hit you with combos. It's like a mix of a club and electric tuning fork. He's able to channel his electricity into it like he sliced through his wood. Second you touch it, the electricity in your hands cooks off the gunpowder and the whole thing goes kabam! And of course you know water and electricity don't mix because of physics. For him to be able to use electricity, he sure can blast with a lot of concussive force. Light, tearing apart a stone, chimney, can explode a tanker, blast power. Tanker, you would think wood would be his kryptonite, still can blast through wood and board, and military drones that are in the air, get blasted. Yeah. After powering up, destroys it in one shot. He can easily overload and explode a boat's engine. Same with a freaking city bus. Can bring down helicopters with his blast power. Then does like the super thunder drop landing to make a big crater shockwave impact. Not only can he throw, but he can also ignite a jet fuel right there. Make it explode. He has no problem taking down helicopters in gameplay footage too. So it's not just me BSing around. Night, night. Helicopter. His blast power can do this to helicopters with a single bolt and cut seed. Metal shackle, he can destroy with 20,000 volts. Yes, he can produce that much volt. In the infamous games, you can actually make moral decisions. They call it karma, which is why you see red on this side and you see blue on this side. Yeah, they're both still lightning. That depending on which path you go, you get even different, weirder ability. He even gains other abilities that have nothing to do with lightning, like being able to freeze, folks in ice, frost shield, respect it. Heck, the main antagonist of the game ended up being an alternate future version of himself anyway. A future version of himself made a lot of mistakes, so he literally used his power to time travel. It was a one-way trip to kind of rewrite history. I'm actually interested to hear your thought. Did you know Cole had the blast power to be able to level a city? I mean, he can harm a being that not even nukes could put a scratch on, but he can splatter pieces of that same being. Logically speaking, whatever his future self could do, he technically has the potential to be able to do so too. Not to mention, he can also gain memories and learn different powers on the fly. That's a constant thing kind of with doing this infamous series. Heck, the whole main point of him going back in time was to make sure his younger self was strong enough to take on the beast of something that he failed. And we see at the end of Infamous in the same vid that he eventually surpasses the beast in power. So theoretically, there is abilities that older self shown doing that we didn't see him actually do. But considering that he got his memory and evolution over time, there's no reason why over time he wouldn't be able to do a lot of these same abilities like teleportation and stuff we didn't really see Cole doing standardly but we just have to wait and see maybe for the future who knows what's your favorite thing about code you like when it comes to his powers and abilities post your comments down below let me know what you all think but before i get going i would also like to give a quick shout out to everybody that has taken the time to donate to the channel helps out a lot believe it or not